When you're writing a screenplay, do you ever think about the money you'll make off of it as you're writing it? No. Because I already have a contract, so I know. <laughs> now, a spec, yeah, you can have illusions of grandeur, you know, as much as you want, but after years in the business, you know the realities of like, okay, but no, you shouldn't you shouldn't write from a place of that. You should forget about all that. Like I say, you should do a do your best job ever if you're paid 500 bucks or you're paid 5 million bucks. There should be no no difference in in your desire because then what are you doing? You're chasing money. There's other businesses to do that that are that are far more lucrative than spending, you know, years of your life toiling away and trying to have that one this is the one that's going to do it, you know. So, um no, you should just bathe in the creative process and not, you know, it's when you're writing your specs. When you're writing an assignment, you already have a contract, you know what you're making, so. <laughs> and then it becomes, you know, stressful because you're actually making something. So you're like, oh shoot, this is due when? <sighs> this is better be good, you know, this is what they're paying me for. So that comes on a different level, you know, when you leap over into that other realm of working like we discussed earlier about um, being creative under a deadline than just toiling away you can work it's great to work when you want you know oh, you know my spec I'm just doing you know this and there's no nobody else not working with anybody else this is all my words and which it has to be to get to a certain point absolutely but then you step over that line into the other world and it's like well we don't like the ending and then the namaba, and it becomes, you know, like they say, filmmaking is a million um, compromises to get something done. And sadly, yeah. But to get something done is amazing. And does that go back to what we're talking about with the Tai Chi or the, the karate example, which is part of it's the physical and part of it's the mental? Yeah. And maybe that pressure of like, I've got to be creative and I've got a deadline and not. Yeah not cracking under that pressure sure it's uh, a lot of it i mean tremendous amount of it's mental you know but then those disciplines you can fall back on and I'm, I'm not straight because you can get into this terrible wheel that you're not producing at the best level you can because you're too worried about the other thing if you just trust yourself and, and dive into the work you'll get it done you know if you're not constantly worried about, well, I got eight days left, you know, just do it. 